Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's look, I created this really dark, smoky, half gold cut crease video. Um, I wasn't really sure what I was going to record when I started, um, although I had one eye already done. But I kind of just came up with another line line like in five minutes. Um, it's fairly, fairly simple, so um, of course anybody can go ahead and recreate this look. So if you want to see how I created this half cut crease, then keep on watching. Hi guys, welcome back. So to start off today's look, I'm going to begin by taking the Morphe 35O palette and I'm going to take this shade here as my transition color and I'm going to apply that with the Morphe E23 brush and I'm applying that shade all into my crease and with this color I'm going to really pack it on heavily because since it is a transition color we're going to go in with um, darker shades right after so I want to make sure that this color is really vibrant and then I'm gonna pack that color on on the outer corner of my eye as well and then the next brush that I'm going to use is this Morphe M433 brush and from that Morphe palette I'm going to take this brown here And this is, I'm going to focus it mainly on like half of my eye and out. I'm going to really pack it on into, onto my outer corner as well. And then lightly feather it in to the front and bring that product forward. Again, I'm going to keep going back and forth and applying and packing on that color. And then I'm gonna go back in with that E23 and then buff that out. Gonna add more product. I'm gonna add more of that first color that we applied and then apply it to my transition. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. Just gonna go back and forth and apply that brown shade. And then to further blend out that line, I'm going to take this Morphe M433. Oh, I think it's the same brush. It's another one, but I use a different color. And from that Morphe palette, I'm going to take this one right here. And with this color, no, I'm sorry, it's going to be this one right here. And with that shade, I'm going to apply it right in between here, just to further blend out that brown and that first transition color that we applied and I'm going to go back in one more time with that dark brown shade just to kind of darken it up again then I'm going to take the Morphe M210 brush and I'm going to take this white shade from the Kat Von D palette as my brow bone highlight Take that Morphe E23 brush and blend it out. And then I'm going to take in this Morphe M518 brush and from the Kat Von D palette, I'm going to take this black shade here. And with this one, since this black is really intense, I'm going to start to focus it on my outer corner. And then I'm going to slowly work my way around my entire eye. And I'm just packing it onto the outer corner, kind of feathering it out like that. And then... I'm going to start to bring it into the inner corner. I'm going to go in with that Morphe M433, the one that I applied that darkest brown to. And I'm going to blend it out and then pretty much all I'm going to do at this point is just add it back and then blend it out, add it back and then blend it out with the brown. So I'm just going to go back in one more time with that black. And what I'm going to do after is I'm going to take my concealer and again, I'm just as I do, did in my other, my half cut crease video, um, pretty much going to do the same thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to cut my crease, but again, I'm going to, I'm not going to carve it out all the way. I'm going to stop.
crease. Now I'm gonna take my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna apply that on my entire eyelid, wherever I cut the crease. And I'm just gonna pack this product on. Okay. And then I'm gonna take this NYX Face and Body Glitter in the shade Gold, and I'm just gonna start packing on that glitter. This Morphe M518 brush, and I'm gonna go in with that black, and I'm gonna start to kind of apply it on the outer corner here where I begin to flick it out, just so it doesn't have such a harsh like line, and you, so you can't see where I started and where I ended. So I'm just gonna keep packing on that black just to kind of get rid of that line. That's pretty much it, and then I'm gonna take a makeup wipe and I'm just gonna give me that nice dramatic so that's pretty much it for the eyes it's really nothing dramatic at all it was actually quite faster than I thought I would finish um, yeah, that's pretty much it so now I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna do my face off camera and then I'll be back to show you what I'm gonna do with the lower lash line and the lip color that I'm gonna apply okay so I went ahead and I did my face and everything off camera so now for the bottom lash line I'm going to take this mini smudger, the one that I always use, by Crown, and I'm going to take I'm gonna take that black from the Kat Von D palette, and I'm going to focus that only on the outer portion of my eye, and then I'm going to connect it here, so I'm putting the black from here and out, I'm going to be M149 brush, and with that, that darkest brown that we use from the Kat Von D palette, I'm going to apply that pretty much in the inner corner where I didn't apply the black and then I'm gonna apply it below the black actually with that same Morphe M149 brush I'm gonna take that um, that brown that I used to mix to kind of blend out here and I'm gonna apply that underneath all those colors that I just applied just to smoke it out even more Just to fill in my waterline so it doesn't look so like empty, I'm gonna go in with this bare, min bare minerals round the clock midnight intense cream cream eyeliner, and I'm just gonna apply it to my waterline. Are these Ardell Glamour lashes number one thirteen? Okay, so I went ahead and I applied. The lashes are ready, and now for lips, I'm going to take this Smashbox um, Always On Liquid Lipstick in the shade Stepping Out. On top of that, just to kind of give it more of a, a nude kind of color, I'm going to take this NYX Butter Gloss Fortune Cookie. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to zoom you guys in.